<sighs> Ready to do this or what? Okay. Oh. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Audrey here, the Fit, Fearless, and Faithful Mom. And we're going to keep rolling with the topic that we have had going. And we're going to be chatting about why it is hard to be Catholic in this crazy Christian world. So I got three things that I want to talk to you about today. The first is that our world has become so secular and it has become so much so about ourselves and what we want. And, you know, one of the books that I was reading a good while back, I guess almost a year ago now, was the book Toxic Femininity. And it talks about the whole goddess movement and how women are now worshiping themselves. Think about Beyonce and this whole goddess movement. We as a society have turned ourselves into gods. What makes me? How can you serve me? And so with this secularism that has happened, it is hard to try and battle that, especially now when churches are on fire, when no one wants to know, love, and serve God, when people want to just serve themselves, and they don't really want to hear anything else besides that. It can be really difficult to be a Catholic in today's society. But that's why we need to keep reading, but we'll get to that. Number two, stemming off this, self-worship. How can I please myself today? How can I adjust my sails? Mm, not to align myself with the will of God, but how can I adjust my sails in order to make my life easier? You know, life wasn't meant to be, um, it wasn't meant to be easy. We all have our crosses. We all have things that we are struggling with, that we are battling with. And we adjust our sails to align ourselves with God, but not to serve ourselves. It can be hard to try talking to people who are in this world because we have such a society that just wants to serve themselves. So here's my third reason why it's hard being Catholic in this crazy Christian secular world is because my peers have abandoned their faith. Because I have peers who tell me that I am blind being Catholic. Because I have family members who tell me that it is foolish um, to continue to be Catholic. We were not taught properly. And that is part of the problem. We were not taught exactly what it means to be Catholic. That's a problem. Poor catechism has led to a lackadaisical faith life. Poor catechizing has led to the world that we now live in. Parents who have baptized their children but never had any intention, my peers included, never had any intention of raising their children Catholic when they vowed, they took an oath to the Lord God Almighty and said, yes, Lord, I will raise my child Catholic, but they haven't, has led to this secular society. I'm just going to let my kid decide. Okay, it's led to laziness in faith. So how do we correct this? Is there even like a prescription for battling this crazy secular world where even in my own life, I have family members who aren't even part of the church. They're not even part of anything right now. Well, the first, and I've said it before, say it again, is that y'all need to start reading. Like, keep reading. Start reading. Keep infiltrating your life. Keep infiltrating your children's life with good, solid, foundational reading. Pick up the Baltimore Catechism. Because that outlines our faith. If you just like pick up that the big honking catechism right here, that is really daunting. Like that is, whew, that is big. So pick up the Baltimore catechism set and check out, go, go like line by line with your kids. It is manageable. It is what they used to use to teach the kids the faith. This isn't just some like arbitrary God and like, like we're treating this like school. Like this is do or die. Sounds dramatic, but it's true. Keep a tight group of people who are like you 
And that can be a little bit difficult um, sometimes where you live, but I'm sure that there are traditional Catholics out there. Keep that tight knit group of people that you know that you can have good quality sound conversations with who you know that when you talk to them, they're going to make you better. It's really good. It's really important. And third, we need to be teaching our children where the faith comes from, even stemming from the Old Testament. Because if they don't understand the Old Testament, it really won't start clicking in the New Testament. If they just catch pieces of the New Testament, the Old Testament won't even matter. And so that's where you need to come in with your reading. Keep reading. Keep reading. And be bold. Be bold. When someone questions you, when someone comes in your face and, and says, well, if you're a Christian, then how do you think this way? You'll have an answer and you'll be able to answer them with humility and with grace and with poise. But you need to have those answers. You need to have them ready. We live in a scary looking world right now. You need to be ready with answers. I'm challenging you. Like, I'm challenging you to go out and read because it's important. Stand firm in your faith. Now is the time. You really need to for the sake of not only your soul, but those little souls that have been entrusted to you. So leave me a comment below. Let me know how you are making your way through this secular world of ours. I know it's challenging, especially like I'm around non-denominational people a lot and or, or even people who like don't identify. Bishop Barron calls them the nuns, N-O-N-E-S. And so how do you, how do you talk? Are you standing up for the faith? Are you speaking the truth? Or are you just letting people talk and talk and talk? They're talking. You might as well get to talking too. All right, everybody, leave me a comment. Make sure you tap that subscribe button, tap that notification bell. It helps me out, helps you out, and I will catch up with you next time. Bye.